With Season 2 coming, Hi-Rez is going to be doing a series of Dev Diaries. These are posts on the Paladin's website that gives us a preview of what balance updates we can expect in OB68 when Season 2 hits. In this first Dev Diary, they're talking about support characters. They first list off a few things that make supports powerful. They have lethal, effective weapons that keep them from being defenseless. However, they are defensive. They have anywhere from 2300 to 2600 health. Many of them have powerful CC and healing abilities. A lot of them even have abilities that let them mitigate or avoid damage entirely. They also have powerful ultimates that can disable the enemy team, lead to a team wipe, or heal and protect their own allies. They like that supports aren't healing bots and that they can hold their own in fights. However, they don't like how well they can do it. In Season 1, they noted supports were doing very well and had some of the highest win rates across all skill levels. So in Season 2, they want to go ahead and address this power imbalance without taking away what makes supports fun. They don't want to nerf their healing, CC, or damage, but they are going to take a bit of their health off across the board and monitor how this affects them. They feel that this nerf will keep the core essence of support characters intact and put focus on strategic play, team cooperation, and situational awareness. Now the focus on that stuff is definitely already there, but I do agree that it will increase that focus a bit more. With less health, you will have to read situations better and have better awareness to avoid dying since you won't have all that health to cushion you. It will also make it so your team has to focus on working together more and coordinating. Your team can't leave openings in their formation and positioning for flanks to get to you, and even if flanks are able to get in, your teammates have to be more aware of it so they can help you and keep you from dying. Now there is the argument that a lot of the time your teammates don't actually pay you any mind and let you die. That is a valid argument, but when it comes to balancing a game like this, you can't balance it around people playing wrong, you have to balance it around people playing right. If their mistakes aren't punished, then there's no incentive or need to improve, but if they are, then they have to get better to succeed. So I see this as being a way to make everyone improve, both the supports and the other classes. Supports have to play safer and smarter, and the others have to be more aware of what's happening behind them. There is another argument as well, and that's that some support characters don't need nerfs of any kind. While health nerfs won't affect characters like Mal and Ceres all that much because they have a lot going for them, it would definitely cause a lot of harm to a support like Ying, and that is a very fair argument. You don't want to take a support that is already weak and nerf them. I'd imagine that Hi-Rez would have some buffs in mind to help out supports that would suffer more from the health nerf. If not, then they need to think of some because you can't go nerfing Ying without giving her anything. The poor girl is already useless for the most part. There's no reason to pick her over the other three main healers, Mal, Ceres, and the returning main healer with OB67, Genos. There's also no reason to pick her over the off healers either. It'd be best if they made her a good main healer like the other three so we could have four good main healers and four good off healers because right now every support is good but Ying, and Ying could easily fill that void that the main healer roster has. But again, besides nerfing Ying, I think this is an overall good thing for the health of the game. Supports are definitely very powerful and I can see why Hi-Rez is looking to nerf them. And I do think out of all the nerfs they could have possibly done, this is the best and the fairest. When the PTS goes live, we'll be able to test this nerf out. And no, I don't know when the PTS is going live, by the way. Until then, let me know what you guys think of this. I want to hear from support haters to support mains alike, so go ahead and comment. And that's pretty much it guys, I want to thank you all for watching, I very much appreciate it, and I'm going to see you guys later. bye!